Much games. Mafra took another animal last night. Everyone is terrified. Lap trap. Mafra is just an old Numerian superstition. There's a simple explanation for what's happening here, and I think I know what it is. Tomorrow, you and I will set off to find the two keys to the ancient city, and... <laughs> Dr. Pythagoras, look out! Call the clue finders! Oh, you want to know what happens? Well, before you go on, you must use the keyboard and sign your name on. Ooh, now you get to decide how hard the problems in this game should be. Mr. Limburger, are we near the place where my Uncle Horace was kidnapped? We're getting there, Joni. But frankly, I don't know what you kids can do. Was Dr. Pythagoras really taken by a monster? Well, peanuts anyone? That's what folks are saying. And there's an old superstition about a monster in a lost city. Superstition? Lost city? Monster! Peanuts? Owen! Yes, I remember reading about a lost city near here. That's right, Leslie. People say that a city named Numeria existed in this rainforest more than a thousand years ago. The wise Numerians were great inventors. They built up a great city, and they might still be in that city today if it hadn't been for Mathra. One dark night, a hideous monster named Mathra appeared as if out of nowhere. The Numerians lived in terror as night after night, the evil beast attacked the wild creatures of the forest. Eventually, the Numerians captured Mathra and locked him in a deep dungeon. But they were afraid that Mathra might escape and terrorize them again. So they left their beloved city, never to return. They locked the city gate with a golden key and split the key in two. They buried the keys in puzzles in two corners of the rainforest, hoping that this way, only the wise and the worthy would be able to enter their city. The Numerians still live in the cities and villages around here, but the location of their ancient city remains hidden to this day. Now it seems Mathra is back. And he's got Joni's Uncle Horace. Hmm, I bet Math would have taken that lost city. Owen's right. We've got to get into that city. Uh, how are you going to do that? No one knows where it is. I do. Who are you? I am Lap Trap, the Turbo Turtle. Your Uncle Horace knew where to find the two keys and the lost city. And before he disappeared, he recorded the locations on a map in one of my programs. Hmm. See? It looks like one key is in the Monkey Kingdom, and the other is in the Goo Lagoon. Okay, listen up. Santiago, Laptrap, and I will go out and find the keys. Cool. Leslie and I will use the video link and be your backup. Right. Anytime you can't figure out what to do, Use Santiago's red video phone to call us for help. And we can store things in my backpack. This may be dangerous, so anytime anyone needs a break or wants to see the map, use me. Let's get going. We've got to find those keys. Where should we start? You decide. My circuits! It's pitch black in here! Laugh trap, stop complaining so. Whoa! Hey! Yuck! Oh, what is this sticky stuff? It's goo, Joni. Goo! Uh, be careful where you. Goo! 
I just washed my shell, and now you've got me wandering through this terrarium of goo. I'll never get these stains out. Goo is nothing to worry about. Whoa! 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 Oh, boy. Look, lads. Two big bugs and a little bug. I am not a bug! Welcome to Liverpudle Bugs, gateway to the Goo Lagoon. Who are you? We're the Liverpudlians, Bugs. We live here in the goo. Oh, goo. Oh, I miss me fresh goo. You're a dreamer, mate. Hasn't been any fresh goo since that fiendish Mathra showed up, poisoning the goo ears. Mathra? That's who kidnapped my uncle. That's who we're out to stop. He's in the ancient Numerian city. You'll need two keys to get in. Where can we find a key? There's one on the other side of the lagoon, isn't there? Right, on top of Goo Falls. Goo Falls? You know what you'll need to get to the top of the falls, don't you? Beetles! Yeah, bags of goo beetles. You better collect some on your way over. Take either path. And be careful, bugs. It's a jungle out there. We're not bugs. But we're gonna get some. Let's go get those beetles, Joni. Mm, yum. Good bugs. Mmm, <clears throat> look good. Ah, good. <clears throat> oh, hello there, dearie. Look at the two bugs on my sister's tree stump. Her bugs have shapes on them that go together in a special way. Grab me a bug from the web so that I'll have two bugs with shapes that go together in a similar way. Place the correct... Mmm, <coughs> very tasty. Here's a beetle bag for your trouble. It might come in handy at Goo Falls. Uh, thanks. Great! A beetle bag! Let's move on. What happened here? <laughs> I'm a good girl, I am. Oh, dear me. But that nasty Mathra cut his way right through where he did. A no good bloke knocking down trees, dropping black shiny stuff in our precious goo. Hey, what's that over there? Drop that too, he did. Fletcher's Furriers, Madison Avenue. Joni, what's going on? Isn't a furrier someone who takes animal fur and turns it into clothing for people? Do you suppose someone is trapping animals for their fur around here? I'd sure like to find out. Let's go. Stay in there. Hey, you. Bugs in clothing. Help me lock this crab lock in this chest. She drank the polluted goo, and it's making her dangerous! Crabble locks! Whew. Close call. Thanks. You may have some use for these beetles in this beetle bag at Goo Falls. Thanks. Let's beat it. I'm with you, Joni. be so kind as to get this off me. Get what off you? All I see on you are some fancy looking leaves. Yes, well, only four of these are my beautiful leaves. The fifth is a camouflaged tachnid. It's different from the other four leaves in just one very small way, and it keeps biting me. Kindly put the attack need into my mouth and I'll eat it. Eat. Oh, yes, that's it. Mm, what a relief. And 
and here is your beetle bag. Mmm. Thanks. Great. We got a beetle bag. He's a truly nasty thingy, he, that Mathra. You've got to stop him, and here's why. Here in Liverpool, we're all in quite a muddle. Cause since the monsters come back, he's ruining the goo. It used to be we flourished, the goo here kept us nourished. Now our lovely home's in purish, and we miss fresh goo. Smell like old socks from Mathra shoes. Ooh, goo, goo, there's just one thing to do. Find the key, stop the monster, and clean up the goo. My friend's in a lot of pain. What's bugging him? He's a yellow madder, you see? Muds and fleas live on his back, and one of them is pinching him. My yellow madder friend can't talk, but look at the description he carved on the tree. Find the moth or flea that matches the description and give it to me. If you give me the correct creature, I'll make sure you get a bag of goo beetles. That was great! Thank ya! <laughs> Here is your bag of goo beetles. Okay, we're off. Thanks for the beetle bag. This is the map of Numeria. You can use it to travel to other places in your game area as long as you fit. Better hurry. Come along, bugs. Would you help me out? Uh, what's the problem, ma'am? I can't leave for our excursion until these five worms are in their correct seats. I've told them where to sit, but they keep putting themselves in the wrong places. <laughs> Honestly, the directions on my signboard do seem perfectly clear to me. Put all five worms into their proper seats, and I'll give you a bag of goo beetles. Bugs, your beetle bags will arrive shortly. Come along, worms. Fasten your seat belts. Cute worms. Let's cut bait and go. You bugs again? is broken. You should turn back. Come on. That stuff's not gonna stop me. Joni, be careful! The bridge! Ah! Is down. Yuck! Uh, nice try there, Joni. But how about a different route? This bridge is missing three planks. Right. If we can place three planks on the end of the bridge in the right order... We'll be able to cross. Ew. Cross. <laughs> we shall see.
fix the bridge. We can cross. Goodbye, Quick Goo. Let's go, Santiago. Look over there. Whoa! We must have to get to the top of those five walls to find one of the keys. Oh, great! More goo! This must be the first of the five walls we need to climb. But how do we do it? When a goo beetle eats my venom flower, a clue you then will see. Then up my secret stairs you'll climb, a pathway toward the key. But before you seek the way up to a flower and a clue, goo beetles from a purple bag must belong to you. Do we have any purple beetle bags? Let's look in the backpack. Yup, I see a beetle bag. Looks like we have the right colored bag. Now what do we do? Ah, good. Yes, there goes our beetle. The vine is broken. I am released. A clue is yours, and you may ascend. Cool, a clue. We need four more. Let's go. Aren't we there yet? I'm going to have to change my batteries really soon. Lap Trap, you should have thought of that before we left. Don't worry, Lap Trap. Santiago and I have thought of everything. That's right. Uh, so, you brought the food, right, Joni? Food? Before you seek the way up to these flowers and a clue, goo beetles from a green bag must belong to you. Do we have any green beetle bags? Let's look in the backpack. Yup, I see a beetle bag we can use. Looks like we have the right colored bag.
There goes our beetle. The first vine is broken. Release one more and my arms will be free and you may ascend. Yes, there goes our beetle. The second vine is broken. I am released. A clue is yours, and you may ascend. I wonder what that clue means. We'll find out. Come on. So you kids have caught a lot of monsters before, right? Well, uh, no monsters, but... Lab Trap, get a clue. We're the clue finders. We're famous. We have a website. Oh, silly me. Before you seek the way up to these flowers and a clue, goo beetles from a red bag must belong to you. Do we have any red beetle bags? Let's look in the backpack. Yep, I see a beetle. <laughs> Looks like we have the right colored bag. Place your beetle on a tile that matches it in at least one way. Our beetles reach the venom flower. The first vine is broken. Release one more and my arms will be free and you may ascend. Good. made it to the top. The second vine is broken. I am released. A clue is yours, and you may ascend. Another clue. Let's go up. It. Have you guys even considered what we're gonna do when we catch up with Mathra? Well... Uh, I'm working on it. Before you seek the way up to these flowers 
And the clue, goo beetles from a blue bag, must belong to you. Do we have any blue beetle bags? Let's look in the backpack. Yup, I see a beetle bag we can use. Let's grab it and put it on the floor here. Looks like we have the right colored bag. First vine is broken. Release two more, and my arms will be free, and you may ascend. a good start. second vine is broken. Release one more, and my arms will be free, and you may ascend.
Alack, your beetle's trail must start at the bottom of my wall. made it to the top. The third vine is broken. I am released. A clue is yours, and you may ascend. Just one more wall and we've made it. And one more clue. Let's go. Sure you want to keep going? I hear Mathra has razor sharp claws. Big deal. And the 60 foot wingspan. He does? And I hear he I hear he likes to eat turbo turtles for breakfast. <laughs> oh great. Before you seek the way up to these flowers and the clue. Goo beetles from a golden bag must belong to you. Do we have any gold beetle bags? Let's look in the backpack. Yup, I see a beetle bag we can use. Let's grab it and put it on the floor here. Then we can get to work. Looks like we have the right colored bag. Our beetles reach the venom flower. The first vine is broken. Release two more and my arms will be free and you may ascend. There goes our beetle. The second vine is broken. Release one more and my arms will be free and you may ascend. That 
beetle made it to the top. The third vine is broken. I am released. A clue is yours, and you may ascend. The last clue. Let's see what awaits us at the top. Look, the five clues we collected are on that wall. Maybe if we follow them, we'll find the key. Hey, we stopped the fountains. Grab the key and put it in the backpack. Joy! Wait for me! Ooh. Ooh! I'm dizzy. But we got the first key. We need the second key, and it's in the Monkey Kingdom. Joni! Santiago! Look out for that vine! Oh, Lap Trap, stop worrying so we can. Whoa! Hey! Oh dear! <laughs> What's that? I am Vasco de Bongo, king of the Monkeystadors. A monkey king? Listen, I'll be monkey Allah king if you can't help us. Mathra is on the loose. He's eating pumas and parrots, and pretty soon he'll be craving a monkey milkshake. Hmm, unless... Unless? Unless you furlish chimpanzees can find the two keys to the lost city. That's just what we're after. Do you know how we can find a key? I know how you can find one of them. Just take either path across my monkey kingdom. And then cross the five rings of volcanic fire. Volcanic fire? I'd cross the rings of fire myself, but I, uh, uh sprained my tail. Naturally, you'll need sneezeberries, but my fellow Monquistadors will gladly give them to you. Of course, you may need to do them some little favors in return. Stop the presses! What exactly are sneezeberries? Little berries of many colors. Uh, blue, green, red, purple, and gold. The ancient Numerians planted the sneezeberry bushes long ago. Listen, Bingo. Bongo! Bongo? Bingo! We don't have time for berry picking, we're... Without these berries, you'll never make it across the rings of fire. Lord the man, I mean, monkey, let's go find those sneeze berries. Ah! Furless chimpanzees! I bet you're looking for some sneezeberries. Help me out, and I'll give you some. That noisy mathra keeps flying over here and knocking down my address stones. I've got room over my doorway for four stones. Place four stones from the ground up there to give me the greatest possible odd number for an address. Only the biggest possible odd number you can make will do. Thanks a bunch. Here, take some sneeze berries. <laughs> Thanks. Hope all your mail arrives safely. Let's go, Santiago. What's that? Stand back, furless ones. 
This is a relic dropped from the sky by Mathra. Let's take a look. Aviatron engine oil? Joni, what's going on? Doesn't aviation mean flying? Yeah. What would an ancient flying beast be doing with a can of engine oil? I don't know, but we're gonna find out. Come on! Oh boy, I did it again. King Vasco's really gonna be mad. I was polishing this monument to our great Monquistador leaders, and I knocked off a number plate. Could you put the right number plate back up for me? I'll give you a bunch of sneeze berries. Wow, are you smart. Thank you so much. And here are your sneeze berries. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, keep it clean there, oh keeper of the monument. I hope these sneeze berries keep the inside of my backpack clean. Let's go, Santiago. Yuck! Oh, what's in there? You don't want to know. Just help me rope it off. On the stones, there are numbers that tell you how long the sides of the pit are. Put into my paw the vine that will fit exactly around the pit. Make sure there's nothing left over. In return, I'll gladly donate a bunch of sneezeberries to your noble cause. Oh, yes, that's it. I'll rope this off. And here are your sneeze berries. Thanks. Let's keep going, Santiago. of monsters. I don't believe in monsters. Don't believe? You've got to believe, and you've got to stop them. Let me tell you why. Long ago there lived a monster who rose up from the deep. He terrorized the jungle, allowed Numeria no sleep. He attacked the jungle animals, left mother's cubs to weep. So the Numerians took action and set out to trap the creep. Do you believe in monsters? From ancient history. Do you believe that we were sitting pretty till he rose from the lost city hungrily? Do you believe in monsters? Flying from the sky Do you believe you'll catch that puma addict With a little mathematics you'll apply Oh dear me I'm Queen Ichibella, and my pet Flopperwalk, that sweet animal over there, is angry. What's eating him? I mark his feeding days on this calendar, and he wants to know when his next feeding day is. But the marker has fallen off. King Vasco sent me this scroll with instructions for finding the date. But... I can't figure out what he means. If you place the marker on my Flabberwalk's next feeding date, I'll give you golden sne- Thank you so much! You've solved my problem! Sorry, Flabby dear. Today is not a feeding day. Here are your sneeze berries. 
Thanks for the sneezeberries, your highness. You are back! Halt! Who goes there? Be gone. All bridges across this ravine have long since been destroyed. Go back where you came from. I can get across this ravine. This is no big deal. There's a better way than that, Joni. If we move two rocks with the same weight as the big rock onto the other end of the tree limb, it will make a level bridge for us. Okay, let's do it. Hmm. Perhaps you will cross after all. Limb is level. We can cross. Goodbye, snake. Let's go, Santiago. Wow. Look over there. Those must be the rings of fire, Santiago. That's where the Numerians hid one of the keys to their ancient city. This looks dangerous. Perhaps we should go back and eat lunch. You're a robot, Laptrap? You don't eat lunch. Let's go! Ow! Oh! Oh! Uh, some guard I am. Ow! Oh. While putting King Vasco's money away, my tail got caught. To get my tail out of here, ow, ooh, I gotta put the right amount of money into the slot. But I can't reach it. Help me out, ow, and I'll give you some sneeze berries. Santiago. Look at those. We need to cross this bridge. But how? On my five bridges, five clues are hidden. To find clues and a key, do what you are bidden. Look on my head. See the numbers? Decide. Add them, subtract them, multiply, or divide. Then, on my bridge, mark the number you found. And watch for a letter as a tile turns around. Ten letters per bridge must be uncovered. Then enter my cave, a key to discover. To cross this bridge, purple sneezeberries you'll need. See if you have them before you proceed. Do we have purple sneezeberries? Let's look in the backpack. We've got them. Let's grab them and put them on that stone. Then we can get to work. We still need to uncover some letters. Let's pick a tile.
Although your answer is true, this is not the number you seek. Try another operation. Although your answer is the numbers on my head must be added, subtracted, multiplied, or divided. So correct. Excellent. Most ingenious. So correct. Well done. So correct. Ah, yes. You have done well, and uncovered the first clue. Uncover four more, and you may enter my cave. You may cross. We did it! Let's go across to the other side. Nice work! Now can we go back? Aren't we there yet? We're getting closer, Laptrap. I can feel it. All I can feel is Laptrap circuits buzzing in my ear. Oh, sorry. To cross this bridge, green sneezeberries you'll need. See if you have them before you proceed. Do we have green sneezeberries? Let's look in the backpack. We've got them. Let's grab them and put them... We still need to uncover some letters. Let's pick a tile. Excellent. Ah, 
Yes. Excellent. Well done. The numbers on my head must be at wise indeed. Most ingenious. Wise indeed. Well done. Your hard work has revealed the second clue. Uncover three more and you may enter my cave. You may cross. We did it. Let's go across to the other side. Onward, Joni! Hey, Santiago. Do you think Uncle Horace is okay? He'll be okay, Joni. He's got a PhD in everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. You're right. I just wanted to be sure you weren't getting discouraged or anything. Me? But... I'm glad I can make you feel better, Santiago. Let's go. Oh, brother. To cross this bridge, red sneezeberries you'll need. See if you have them before you proceed. Do we have red sneezeberries? Let's look in the backpack. We've got them. Let's grab them and put them on that stone. Then we can get to work. We need to uncover ten letters in all. Which tile should we pick? Well done. Although your answer is true, this is not the number you seek. Try another operation. Excellent! The numbers on my head must... Look... Look on my head. See the numbers? The numbers on my head must be added. Sup well done. So correct. Well done.
Look on my head. See the numbers? Decide. Add them. Subtract them. Multiply or divide. So correct. Excellent. Well done. Most ingenious. We're out of berries. Do we have any more in the backpack? Uh. You fell in again? Ooh, Please just help me rope off this pit. Oh, yes, that's it. I'll rope this off. And here are your sneeze berries. <laughs> We're back at the ring. After you, Ms. Savage. Onward, Joni. Cross this bridge, red sneezeberries you'll need. See if you have them before you proceed. Do we have red sneezeberries? Let's look in the backpack. We've got them. We have one more letter to uncover. Let's do it. Excellent. Behold. You have discovered the third clue. Uncover two more, and you may enter my cave. You may cross. We did it. Let's go across to the other side. After you, Ms. Savage. Hey, aren't we there yet? My batteries are really running low now. At least you can recharge your batteries. You know, my feet are starting to kill me. Your feet are killing me, too. How long have you been wearing those socks? Hey! Just kidding. To cross this bridge, blue sneezeberries you'll need. See if you have them before you proceed. Do we have blue sneezeberries? Let's look in the backpack. We've got them. Let's... We need to uncover ten letters in all. Which tile should we pick? Excellent. Well done. <laughs> Most 
most ingenious. The numbers on my head must... The numbers... The numbers on my head must be at... Well done. Excellent. Most ingenious. So correct. Yes. Well done. Well done. Excellent. You have uncovered the fourth clue. Only one more and you may enter my cave. You may cross. We did it. Let's go across to the other side. Onward, Joni. I'm so mad. When we catch Mathra, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make him sorry he ever messed with my uncle. Joni, get real. He's like 60 feet tall. We'll need brains, not brawn. Brains, brawn, and when we finally get there, batteries! To cross this bridge, gold sneezeberries you'll need. See if you have them before you proceed. Do we have gold sneezeberries? Let's look in the backpack. We've got them. Let's grab them and put them on that stone. Then we can get to work. We need to uncover ten letters in all. Which tile should we pick? Yes. So correct.
The numbers on my head must be added, subtracted, multiplied, or divided. Decide. Look on my head. See the numbers? Decide. Add them. Subtract them. Multiply. Although you're... Ah, yes. Excellent. Wise indeed. Most ingenious. Yes. So correct. Your mind is keen. You're back! I need your help again. Please place the marker in the right place on my calendar. Thank you so much! You've solved my problem! Sorry, Flabby dear. Today is not a feeding day. Here are your sneeze berries! Thanks for the sneeze berries, Your Highness. Wow, what a view. After you, Ms. Savage. After you, Ms. Savage. Here we go. Nice work. Now can we go back? To cross this bridge, gold sneezeberries you'll need. See We have one more letter to uncover. Let's do it. Excellent. Amazing. You have uncovered the fifth and final clue. We did it!
Let's go across to the other side. Nice work. Now can we go back? Look! The clues from the bridges are on the wall. Let's do what the clues tell us. We'll find the key by using the clues in the right order. We did it! Grab the key and put it in the backpack. Turned out the lights. Trap door! Wee! Wee? All right, we got both keys. So, kids, looks like you found both keys. The next stop for you must be the Lost City. What's the fastest way to get there, Mr. Limburger? Well, from looking at your uncle's map, it seems pretty far. How about if I drop you two off in my airplane? We're circling over the city gates now, kids. Parachutes ready. Good luck, kids. Hey, this doesn't look like the Lost City. <laughs> lost City. Boy, are you lost. Yeah, you better just turn around and go back. Uh, I don't think we can go back. Hmm, that's true. Not unless you can fly. <laughs> well, anyway, they can't stay here. But... Uh, 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 I think we need a conference. I don't know what to do with the piece of carrots. I don't want to... Right, all right, all right. Okay, okay, this okay. is what we'll do. All right, we've decided that we don't want you to stay here, so we're going to help you. Yeah. The lost city is about four tall trees that away. Now, don't tell anyone we helped you. Yeah. Now scram. All right, all right already. Let's go, Santiago. We're off to that city. Oh, uh, excuse me. Pardon me. Hey. Can you help us get to the Lost City? Well, uh, excuse me, I'm so clumsy. I seem to have bumped off the arrow that shows where we are on this map. The map shows where the Lost City is. But, hmm, unfortunately... Oh, yes! I remember now. Good job! All right! Now, which branch do we take to the Lost City? Let me see. Why? It's this branch right here. Santiago, let's go. Wow. Look, the Lost City Gate. But how do we get there? It's too far to jump. Flight number 270 has been postponed. Excuse me, but we need to get to the Lost City. Look, I'd love to help you, but I've got no time. I've got to help these six customers. Maybe we can help you. I'll tell you what. If you can help me, I'll get you to the Lost City. These birds all want to go to the United States for a vacation. But, according to their vacation planners, they want to go to different regions. The first bird wants to go to New England. Read the vacation planner under this map of the New England states. Then, put the pushpin in the state we should send him to. Hey, great choice! That's it! All right, 
One down, five to go, and we're on our way to the Lost City Gates. Let's work on the next bird's vacation. The second bird wants to go somewhere in the Mid-Atlantic states. Read the vacation planner under this map of the Mid-Atlantic states. Then, put the push pin in the state we should send him. Very good. The second bird can leave for vacation. Nice. Just four more birds to go and we'll finally get down from these treetops. Now on to the next map and the next vacation plan. The third bird wants to go somewhere in the southeast. Put the push pin in the state we should send her to. Very good. Fly free, little bird. You're on vacation. Lost City, here we come. Just three more birds to go. Let's try another map, another bird, and another vacation plan. Okay, now for the next bird. This one wants to go somewhere in the Midwest. Put the push pin in the state we should send her to. All right, four birds are on their way. Two more to go. Next! Okay, been there, seen that, done that, got the t-shirt. Next! Now on to the next map and the next vacation plan. Almost done. The fifth bird wants to go somewhere in the southwest. Put the push pin in the state we should send her to. Great, you got another one. Hold on, Uncle Horace. We're almost there. Just one more bird to help out. Here's the last map and the next vacation plan. Finally, our last bird wants to go somewhere in the west. Put the push pin in the state we should send her to. Very nice, you did a good job. Now what? Now you go to the lost city. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey, watch it. Those two aren't built to fly. Whoa. Look, the city gates at last. Looks like we need to use the two keys, but there's only one keyhole. Let's take them both out of the backpack and see what happens. Whoa! Whoa! The two keys are combining into one key. Let's grab the key and put it in the keyhole. <gasps> Look, it's Mastra. He looks like he's sleeping. Let's go in there and get him. Uh, oh, hold it, Joni. I just thought of something. It flies. It drops oil, furrier labels, and oil cans. Why is that sounding so familiar? Sure, always blame the turtle. Not you, Lap Trap. Limburger. <gasps> Fletcher Limburger, it was you all along. That's right, kids. The legend of Mathra was a convenient way to keep everyone away from the lost city while I collected animals for my fur company. Everything was going perfectly until your meddling uncle got in the way. But I took care of him, and you two kids won't stop me. <laughs> <gasps> He's getting away, Santiago. We've got to stop him. Gesundheit. Who are you? We are the guardians of Numeria. Your evil enemy has trapped many animals and your uncle at the bottomless pits of doom. The bottomless pits of doom? You may pass through either gateway to get there. Once there, build the ancient Numerian Mathra Trap to stop him. Build the Mathra Trap? How? To build the trap, you will need serpents made from ancient Numerian magnets, known as Snagnets. Prove to the guardians of the city that you are worthy, 
and they will give these Snagnets to you. Let's go, Santiago. There's no time to lose. Welcome, young travelers, to the Numerian Chamber of Vision. Whoa. All eyes are upon us. What do we need to do here? The pictures in my many eyes, when all in their proper places, answer a question about how the world works. Some of my eyes have fallen to the ground. To see a vision and be granted a serpent of snagnets, place my fallen eyes in their correct order. You have done well, little adventurers. Observe the vision. Here are your snagnets. Thanks for the snagnets, ma'am. Let's get going, Santiago. Welcome to the Numerian Chamber of Structure. <laughs> A serpent of snagnets will be yours if you can recreate this portrait from the animal world. Take the picture pieces from the ground and put them onto the walls. Here are your stagnants. Thanks. Let's sneak our way out of here. What is this place? Welcome to the Numerian Chamber of Knowledge. All the scientific knowledge of Numeria is stored within my memory banks. This looks like an old water wheel, a uh, goo wheel. Goo from Goo Spring turns my wheel and generates my power. Oh, not goo again. Goo Spring? Joni, this must be the spring that feeds the entire Goo Lagoon. Looks like Mr. Limburger beat us here. He has thrown his oil drum into the spring. A good deed. Now, I will reward you with snagnets, if you can create order out of these sentences. Place the main idea first, and then put the other sentences in the order that makes sense. Let's do it, Santiago. Young travelers, behold, the Snagnets. We're off. Thanks for the Snagnets. Wow, look at that. These must be the bottomless pits of doom. The animals in Uncle Horace must be on the other side. Which pit will we need to cross to get to Uncle Horace? It's, uh, too dark to see. We'll have to try all of them. One pit at a time. 
If we can seal these pits, we'll be able to rescue Uncle Horace and the animals and build the Mathra Trap. Let's go! Hello, travelers. Welcome to the Numerian Chamber of Illusion. You are entering a dimension where not all is what it appears to be. Picture, if you will, a serpent of snagnets. I will grant you snagnets if you can identify the three pictures I show you. Before you is a picture of mystery. Give it the correct label. I know you can. For each picture, choose the correct label from the stack and place it on my pedestal. Here is the first picture. Begin. Appearances can be deceiving. All is not as it seems. Try again. Maybe we should call Owen and Leslie and get them to eye this problem. Appearances. All is not as it seems. Well done. Here is the second picture. Can you identify what it is? Good work. Here is the third picture. Can you identify what it is? Well done. Here are your snagnets. Thanks for the snake, mister. Ready to go, Santiago? didn't drop them, you lefties did. Well, we'll need to work together to get these stones back up and properly grouped. Welcome to the Chamber of Order, young travelers. If we give you a serpent of snagnets, will you help us? Okay, what do we need to do? The fallen stones all belong in one of these two categories. Place the stones that belong in the category to our left in the left hands and place the stones that belong in the category to our right in the right hands. You did it! Ow! <clears throat> you have proven yourselves worthy! Now observe the Serpent of Snagnets. It will definitely come in handy at the bottomless pits of doom. Uh, thanks. Those Numerian Serpents are weird. Look at those... The wandering travelers return. Put the correct labels on all three pictures, and snagnets will be yours. Here is the first picture. Begin. Well done. Here is the second picture. Can you identify what it is?
good work. Here is the third picture. Can you identify what it is? Well done. Here are your snag nets. Thanks for the snake, mister. Ready to go, Santiago? must have put them there. This must be the first of the five bottomless pits of doom. Right. We need to seal these pits in order to rescue those jaguars and set up the ancient Numerian Mathra trap. But how do we do it? You can rebuild the Mathra trap and save the animals too. By building five bridges out of stones which I will give to you. But to move the bridge stones I give you, Purple snagnets you'll need. Only if you have them will I allow you to proceed. Do we have purple snagnets? Let's look in the backpack. Yep, I see some snagnets we can use. Let's grab... Okay, now what do we do? I will give you bridge stones like this one. One stone at a time. Ah, when a bridge stone... Well done. Now... We better think carefully. Every... We're out of We can move a bridge stone. We need to use snagnets to go. We can move a bridge stone into place only if we have snagnets. We need to use sna We can move a bridge stone into place only if we have snagnets. Let's grab the correct snagnets out of the backpack and put them on the ground. Then we can get to No, hello again, traveler. You can We can move a bridge. We need to use snag. We need to Let's get back to We did it. Whoa! Whoa. The Jaguars can cross. Let's get out of here. We have four more pits to seal. You can rebuild the Mathra trap and save the animals too. By building five bridges out of stones which I will give to you. But to move the bridge stones I give you green snagnets you'll need. Only if you have them will I allow you to proceed. Do we have green snagnets? Let's look in the backpack. Yup, I see some snagnets we can use. Let's grab them and put them on the ground here. Okay, now what do we do? I will give you bridge stones like this one. One stone at a time. Now take heed. 
Notice that each bridge stone has two words. Each bridge has a different rule for how to use those words. The rule for this bridge is place the bridge stones so that whenever two words touch, the two words have almost the same meaning. He means synonyms. Right. Two different words that mean almost the same thing. Like little and small. We're out of Sheesh! Is there no end to the goo around here? Ah! You have re Prepare the... Let's get back to work. Wow. You can. We can move a. We need to use snagnets to guide. Bri Let's get back to. The bridge is complete. Whoa. Whoa! The foxes can cross. Let's go. We have three more bridges to build. You can rebuild the Mathra trap and save the animals too by building five bridges out of stones which I will give to you. But to move the bridge stones I give you red snagnets you'll need. Only if you have them will I allow you to proceed. Do we have red snagnets? Let's look in the backpack. Yup, I see some snagnets we can use. Let's grab them and put them on the ground here. Okay, now what do we do? I will give you bridge stones like this one. 
one stone at a time. Now take heed. Notice that each bridge stone has two words. Each bridge has a different rule for how to use those words. The rule for this bridge is place the bridge stones so that whenever two words touch, the two words are in the same category. Like red and yellow are both in the same category. Because they're both color words. I get it. Remember, place the bridge stones on my bridge so that whenever two words touch, the two words are in the same category. We can move a bridge stone into place. All right. All our bridge stones are in place. Whoa. Whoa. The Pumas can cross. More pits and the Mathra trap will be reset. You can rebuild the Mathra trap and save the animals too by building five bridges out of stones which I will give to you. But to move the bridge stones, I give you blue snagnets you'll need. Only if you have them will I allow you to proceed. Do we have blue snagnets? Let's look in the backpack. Yep, I see some snagnets we can use. Let's grab them and put them on the ground here. Okay, now what do we do? I will give you bridge stones like this one. One stone at a time. Now take heed. Notice that each bridge stone has two words. Each bridge has a different rule for how to use those words. The rule for this bridge is place the bridge stones so that whenever two words touch, the two words sound the same. He means homophones. Right! Words that are spelled differently, but sound the same. Uh, oh yeah! Like, here as in, here I am, and here as in, I hear you!
we solve the puzzle. Whoa! Whoa. The otters can cross. Uncle Horace! Dr. Pythagoras! Kids, lap trap. I'm so glad you're all right. We're here to rescue you, sir. If you seal this last pit, not only will I be rescued, but the Numerian Mathra trap will be set and will stop Limburger for good. You can rebuild the Mathra trap and save your uncle, too, by building five bridges out of stones which I will give to you. But to move the bridge stones I give you, golden snagnets you'll need. Only if you have them will I allow you to proceed. Do we have gold snagnets? Let's look in the backpack. Yup, I see some snagnets we can use. Let's grab them. Okay, now what do we do? I will give you bridge stones like this one, one stone at a time. Now take heed. Notice that each bridge stone has two words. Each bridge has a different rule for how to use those words. The rule for this bridge is place the bridge stones so that whenever two words touch, the two words are both words that can be used as verbs, or both words that can be used as adverbs. Hmm. A verb is a word that shows action. Like fight. Or discover. Or hide. And an adverb is a word that tells more about a verb. Right. Like quickly, as in hide quickly. When a bridge stone has a blank, you may place that... Remember, place the bridge stones on my bridge so that whenever two words touch, the two words are both words that can be used as verbs or both words that can be used as adverbs. We're out of snagnets. We need to use sna- Okay, now what do we do? The last bridge is built! Whoa! Whoa. Kids! Love Uncle track. Horace! What's that? The bridge is transforming itself! It's becoming invisible! Look out! It's Mastra! It's Limburger! <laughs> I'll give those kids something to really be scared of. Whoa! There he goes. Is this pit really bottom?
bottomless, Uncle Horace? You know, I don't know. You kids did great! Yeah, what an adventure we had! I'm sure gonna miss you guys. Oh, no you're not. Kids, as a reward for saving the rainforest, I'm giving Lap Trap to you. What? Wait, oh, no. That means you can come with us on our next adventures. Oh my, you mean more excitement? Yeah! More danger? Yeah! And more monsters? Yeah! Ooh. Hey, he fainted. He's a computer. Maybe he crashed. So what do we do? Splash him with cold water? Call tech support? Ooh, where's the reset button? Oof. All right. Yeah. I'll get those kids yet. They haven't heard the last of Fletcher Q. Limburger. The situation's dire, and I fear time's running low. You must cross the rings of fire. Hurry up, it's time to go. I know that you can make it. You will brave the monster's wrath. I'd really like to help you, but I'm just no good at math. Do you believe in monsters? Rising from the grave. If you believe that using calculation you'll select the operation, then we're saved. Do you believe in monsters from ancient history? The only hope I see is that you'll find the two lost keys. If you believe in monsters like me like